morning students i hope you all are keeping well today we are going to discuss about the chapter chapter 3 parallel lines under the unit 5 geometry now this is the second chapter of this unit first chapter was angles and second chapter is parallel line okay in this module we are going to learn about parallel lines transversal line exterior and interior angles alternate angle alternate angles inside this we are also going to learn about about exterior alternate angles angles and interior alternate angles is that clear students in this alternate angles we are also going to learn about two more points that is exterior alternate angles and in interior alternate angles and the next point is corresponding angles and co interior angles then we will start with a short video which will help you to understand this this uh, some topics very clearly have you ever seen railway tracks Yes this is an image of a railway track have you noticed the position of rails these rails are placed opposite to each other if you keep moving ahead on the same track then do the rails meet anywhere no they do not meet anywhere then what can you say about the pair of rails as these rails do not meet anywhere on the track it shows that the rails are parallel to each other if we go further on the same track we see that the track meets another track let's take these rails as lines say l m p and q as these lines never meets anywhere on extending in both direction infinitely we can say these lines are parallel to each other we see that the lines p and q are also parallel to each other are these lines p and l also parallel to each other no these are not parallel to each other then what can you say about these lines p and l as we know that parallel lines do not meet anywhere both the lines p and l both meet at point c a thus it shows these lines p and l are not parallel to each other as we can see that the lines p and l cuts each other at a point a so these lines are called intersecting lines now what can you say about the lines q and l they are intersecting each other at a point say b similarly we can say the line p intersect the line at a point c and q intersect the line m at a point say d does the line p intersecting both the lines l and m yes here p is intersecting both the lines l and m at the point a and c respectively what does the line p represent here if a line that intersect two or more lines at distinct point is called a transversal thus the line p intersect a transversal line now if the line p intersect the two non parallel lines x and y at two distinct points r and s then would it be correct to say that line p still represents a transversal line yes as the line p intersect the line x and y at two distinct points r r and s then it is not important that the whether the lines are parallel or non parallel thus we say that a line that intersects two or more lines whether the lines are parallel or not at distinct points is called a transversal have you noticed the angles made by the transversal lines p in the figure How many angles have been made? Four angles have been made by the transversal line at point R, and the another four angles are formed at the point S. What angles are formed when a transversal intersects the pair of straight line? 
let's name them as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 now can you shade the region which lies between the two straight lines x and y yes this is a required shaded region which lies in between the two straight lines x and y therefore this shaded region is called the interior part of the two straight lines then can we say a part of the plane which does not lie between the straight lines is called the exterior part of the straight lines yes this thus we can say that 3 4 5 and 6 lie in the interior part of the straight lines and then angles are called interior angles the angles 1, 2, 7 and 8 lies in the exterior part of the same plane and these are called the exterior angles. From this short video, I hope you all, you all understood some of the topics very clearly. Now, let me have a... I will not take, uh, I will not take too much time but a small sentence to know you about these topics okay so parallel lines parallel lines means two distinct lines which never intersect each other they just move on in a, in a plane so two parallel lines l and m these two distinct lines they just produces but it never intersect each other that lines are called parallel lines okay they never intersect each other that is called parallel lines now we talk about transversal line if we talk about transversal line the line which intersect two parallel lines intersect the parallel lines which intersect the parallel lines or known parallel line known parallel lines means it can also parallel known parallel lines the parallel lines which intersect each other they can at the end of at the end it can get intersect so that are the transverse these this is called a transversal so no, non parallel means it can be like this yes it can be like this we can give l and l these are non parallel these are non parallel parallel lines is it clear students okay these are non parallel lines now, we, if we talk about exterior angles, now again I will make a parallel line. Okay, these are the, these both are the parallel lines because they are in same distance. Okay, from here also same distance, here also same distance. There, that's why it is called as parallel line. Okay, now exterior angles, exterior angles means whatever the angles formed, and I have prepared made a angle, whatever angles formed at the outer part of the parallel lines are called exterior angles these are called as exterior angles is that clear then now we talk about interior angles you already understood so just this is interior angles whatever the inside part inside part is are the shaded part inside inside the parallel line whatever angle made that is called interior angles is that now we have the next topic that is alternate angles alternate angles first i will draw two parallel lines that i will give it name l and m and one transversal which i will give the name t okay then i am forming and inside alternate angles, there are two type of angles that is alternate exterior angle and second is alternate interior angles. So first we will talk about alternate interior angles. So the first we have alternate interior angles. Okay. So for that, how we will, interior means you have already learned interior means inside so the angles form inside so first i will put the angles 1 2 3 and 4 here 5 6 
7 and this is 8. So these angles I put. Now alternate interior angles means inside the angles. Now one angle is equal to angle 1 is equal to angle 6. Okay. Opposite to the transversal. Opposite to the transversal is 6. Angle 1, the opposite of angle 1 is 6 in the another part of transversal. So angle 6. Then next is we have question uh, angle 2 which is again to the opposite of angle 2 is angle 5. So we have angle 5 is equal to angle 2 or angle 2 is equal to angle 5. This we can note down like this. Now we have the alternate second point alternate exterior angles exterior angles for that how you will find out now here exterior angle see we can see that for angle 4 angle 3 angle 8 angle 7 both are these four angles are outside the parallel lines okay so forming by the transversal outside that then how you will note down angle 4 is equal to angle 7 okay angle 4 is equal to angle 7 this is forming outside and angle 3 is equal to angle 8 angle 3 is equal to angle 8 is that clear students now see again got it now according to see angle 4 again I am explaining you angle 4 transversal the opposite side of the transversal if I am just removing this and I am watching this only this so angle 4 opposite to the angle transversal opposite to the transversal that is angle 7 so angle 4 is equal to angle 7 and angle 3 again it is opposite to the transversal of this angle that is angle 8 so angle 3 is equal to angle 8 I hope you understood so now we have the next content that is corresponding angles in that also I will just draw the line so that it will be easy make a line parallel line L and I have given M ok and one transversal also we need it so that we can make it out fastly no to make it out the corresponding angles so here I am again I am drawing one angle angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 now here for corresponding angles how we will understand now when we are talking about corresponding angles that means angle 1 this angle 1 on the same transversal the second part of the parallel line the same part of the parallel line so we see this is the same line and here also the same line this line I am just drawing to another line this one and this one are you able to watch now see 1 angle 1 is equal to angle 1 is equal to angle 5 this is corresponding angles is that clear now same thing for angle 2 the same side not the other part that was for alternate angle but it is for corresponding angle corresponding angle means the angle same and same side it will come but on the different line now angle 2 is equal to angle 6 is that clear students and angle 4 is equal to angle 8 angle 4 is equal to angle 8 then angle 3 is equal to angle 7 angle 7 I hope you understood yeah. are you getting again I am explaining you angle 1 is equal to angle 5 the same side same side on the upper portion the, ex the upper portion and here also 2 angle 2 is equal to angle 6 that is also same part same position see the same angles ma making so this will be corresponding angles. Is that clear students? We have co-interior angles. Again I will draw a parallel line. Give the name. Parallel line. I will give the name L and M. Now again I will draw a transversal to show you co-interior angles. 
that I have given T as a line. Okay. Now I will make angles inside. So because we are talking about interior, so we will talk. Take it angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. Now if we are talking about co-interior angles, that means the transfer, the parallel lines cutting a transversal. By that we are getting the angle formed inside. Angle formed inside is will be the sum of that angles will be 180 degree. Is that clear? So that it will be angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. Is that clear? These both angles will be the sum of 180 degree. This, this both angles that when we are adding we will get 180 degree. It should be 180 degree. Is that clear? Then the same thing the other part 2 and 3. So angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. This will be, we will get to know. Now, understood? I hope you all understood this co-interior. Let's recap. Two non-intersecting lines lying on the same plane are called parallel lines and it is denoted by two vertical bars. Here, L is parallel to M. It is written as L parallel M and read as L parallel to M. Two lines are said to be intersecting lines if they meet at a point and let's take two lines L and M and both intersect each other at a point O. A line which passes through two or more straight line and cuts these straight lines at distinct points is called a transversal line. Let's take two straight lines X and Y which is intersected by a transversal line P at two distinct points R and S. Angles made by a transversal line are as follows. A. Angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6 are called interior angles. B. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8 are called exterior angles. C. Angle 1 and angle 5, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 2 and angle 6 and angle 4 and angle, angle 8 are called pairs of corresponding angles. D. Angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6 are called pair of alternate interior angles. E. Angle 1 and angle 7 and angle 2 and angle 8 are called pair of alternate exterior angles. F. Angle 3 and angle 6 and angle 4 and angle 5 are called pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal line. I hope you all understood this session and whatever angles formed by the parallel lines and the transversal, just note everything in your notebook so that it will be useful in your exercise it will be very useful in another exercises also and these topics are very important learn it properly define it properly with the help of diagram with the help of figures and try to note down all the points very clearly so that it will be easy for you to understand clear students thank you and have a nice day be at home and be safe. Thank you to students.